And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Papago Park in Phoenix. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network, and it's play-by-play -play coverage of Southwest Woodbat Classics tournaments. And we are uh, underway in the championship game in the 13U-14U division of the 2016 Spring Fling. And the uh, matchup today, it's uh, Rip against Team Dinger. And a ball popped up and playable out at uh, the shortstop spot. Aiden Alford, the leadoff hitter for Rip, and the first pitch or the uh, first out is made on the uh, pop out to shortstop. So one out for Ian Halverson, who bats second. Alford, by the way, starts in center field. So uh, Halverson bats second and plays second. Max Miller is the pitcher. He hits third. First one to Halverson high for a ball. Batting in the fourth spot is the is an extra hitter, Diego Holguin. Bo Berkelow will bat fifth and catch. Jack Mays in right field hits sixth. So the pitch is over for a strike in the count one and one. Hitting seventh is the shortstop, Carter Hunt. Augie Schuyler is an extra hitter, batting in the eighth spot. Sebastian Mejareo follows as an extra hitter. Then Cooper Dulich in left field. Is that one's a foul down the left side of the count one and two. Colin Rothermel at third base bats 11th. Reggie Dimitri, the first baseman, bats 12th as Rip will bat on the entire roster, as will Team Dinger as that ball is fouled to the backstop. One out base is empty, just uh, getting settled in here in the championship game. And that ball hit out into right center field and that's down Four base hits, so the leadoff hitter aboard. Uh, so not the leadoff hitter, but the second hitter, first person aboard for Rip, and it's a one on and one out for the number three hitter, Max Miller. go. First pitch popped up first base side that'll get foul and out of play. Evan Kelly, the starter for Team Dinger. And a swing and a miss on a breaking ball and we count 0-2. And runner goes, pitch over for a strike and a throw to second base. Not in time. Good throw there, but Halverson got a decent jump and he steals second base. Miller called out on strikes for the second out. And the batter will be Diego Holguin. The defense then for Team Dinger, Michael Piazza starts in left field. Cole Garib is in center. And Matthew Malloy plays right field. Jack Milstein at third base. Aiden Beeman is the shortstop. Aiden Brady plays second. Blake Burke at first. And Nick Stredney behind the plate. Catching Evan Kelly. Runner at second. Two outs, top of the first inning. And a pitch over the outside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. Check back to second base for Kelly. 
And the pitch over for a strike, and it's one and two. And the one two popped up uh, into right field. Going out a couple of steps, then coming in is Malloy, and he makes the catch. And the inning is over. Rip gets a one-out single. Runner left at second base. And after having a play, Rip nothing. Team Dinger coming up. Underway in the bottom of the first inning, Michael Piazza takes strike one from Max Miller. And next pitch fouled out of play on the first base side of the count. 0-2, Piazza leads off for Ting Ding, uh, Team Dinger in left field. Then Matthew Malloy bats second and plays right field. Nick Stredney works behind the plate and hits third. Cole Garib in center field hits fourth. Ball goes to the backstop. Then Michael Perez, an extra hitter, is fifth. Aiden Beeman, the shortstop, is sixth. Over at first base, batting seventh is Blake Burke. Aiden Brady hits eighth and plays second. Jack Stecker is ninth. Get a ground ball back to Miller, who fields, and he'll flip on to first base for the out. 1-3, ground out for Piazza. Brings up Matthew Malloy. But uh, the rest of the order, then Jack Stecker batting ninth. Evan Kelly, the pitcher, 10th. Jack Milstein at third base, bats 11th. A ball bunted, foul over on the third base side for Malloy, trying to get his way on. Scheduled for a 3 o'clock first pitch this afternoon. Got to start just a little bit late, 3-11. Our first pitch came across, and uh, figure after a couple of uh, earlier scheduled games, including semifinals for both of these teams, 11 after 3, not too bad. Fastball. And away, one ball and one strike. One out, base is empty, bottom of the first, and no score. And a ball lifted into left field. Playable out there, and Dulich is there for the catch. And that's out number two. Now Nick Stredney bats with the bases empty. And two away for Tim Dinger. And a big curveball misses outside for ball one. And a pitch over for a strike. And they count one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch at the knees, a strike, and it's 1-2. and two. Back to the wind, the 1-2 pitch. And a fly ball hit pretty well out to right center field. But Mays over there to make the catch. And it's a 3-up, three 3-down, three bottom of the first for Team Dinger. After one in the championship game, there's no score. As we go to the top of the second inning, Ball Bercolo leads off for Rip and takes high for ball one. And next pitch up and in, two balls and no strikes. Jack Mays and Carter Hunt to follow in the top of inning number two. And a 2-0 pitch. Line drive, and that's over the head of the shortstop Beeman into left center field. Just to over to cut it off, Piazza to 
hold the runner to first base. It's a leadoff single for Rip in the second. Right fielder Jack Mays. And he takes the first pitch over the outside corner, strike one. And that ball knocked foul and out of play. And the count 0 2. Kelly ready with the next pitch and slowing away, and it's a ball and two strikes. Leadoff hitter aboard and nobody out of the top of the second, scoreless in the Spring Fling Championship game. And a ground ball over to short. The other short way to second for the first out on to first base. Not in time over there, but Team Dinger able to get the lead runner a 6-4 force of uh, Barcolo. Mays aboard on the fielder's choice. And the batter is Carter Hunt. First one low and away for a ball. Stretney has to backhand it to keep it from going to the backstop. One on, one out. Top of the second, no score. Kelly will turn and throw to first and the runner back. Looking in for a sign, now sets. And the pitcher fastball misses outside, 2-0. Oh. Next one low and away, three balls and no strikes. So Carter Hunt way ahead in the count here. Stretches the lead out over at first base. And Kelly's 3-0 pitch over the outside corner of strike, and it's 3-1. Big jump over there at first base, and uh, maybe want to let that pitch go by to let Mays steal the bag. But instead, Hunt fouls it off. And Mays will have to go back to first. Ball wasn't put back in play yet as the uh, throw goes over to first base. Ball down the right field side, fouled out of play. <laughs> and a line drive over the head of the third baseman, Milstein down the left field line. Piazza over to get it, and he'll get it in quickly, and that'll hold. Mays at second base. Carter Hunt with a base hit. Now 
first and second with one out for Augie Schuyler. Swing and a miss, and uh, miss sign here as the runners are going to take off, and then they throw down to a second base, overthrown, and uh, again a miss sign there, and I think that, that it may have been a hit and run, but the runner at second base didn't take off. Hunt did over at first, and he got uh, more than halfway to second. And then it was a decision time, trying to figure out where to throw the baseball to look for an out. Pitch high. Two aboard, one out, top of the second inning, and no score. And a pitch, a swing and a miss for a strike. One ball, two strikes to count. And a fastball off the end of the bat, foul to the backstop. Foul to the backstop. Count stays one and two. Jack Mays at second. Carter Hunt at first. Popped up behind home plate. And uh, Stredney stays with it to make the catch for out number two as Schaller has retired. Now two away with two aboard for Sebastian Marrell. First pitch fouled off at the plate, strike one. one misses way outside. Stredney has to stretch way out to keep that one from going to the backstop. A ball and a strike. Cooper Dulich next for a rip. No score in the second inning. It's the championship game of the 2016 Spring Fling. Pitch outside. Two and one. And a ground ball over to the first base side through the legs of Burke and into right field. A runner nearly ran through the stop sign over at third base. And an E3 extends the inning. Mays now to third, Hunt at second. Marrell aboard at first for Cooper Dillich. Pitch. 
Misses outside, ball one. The 1 0 pitch, that's up. Just uh, was over the head there of Dulich. The count goes to 2 0. Two O pitch over the inside corner. A strike. It's two and one. And the two one on the way. That's over the outside corner. A strike. Two and two. Driven uh, over the head of the shortstop, Beeman into center field. One run will score. And a second runner held. RBI base hit for Cooper Dulwich. And Rip leads one to nothing. So an unearned run for Rip, but uh, they'll take it any way they can get it here. Bases stay loaded with two outs for Colin Rothermel. Pitch high, ball one. And the 1 0. That's outside. Two balls and no strikes. Three hits and an error in the inning. One to a run, and the bases remain loaded with two outs. 2-0 pitch over for a strike, 2-1. and one. And a fly ball into center field, but uh, right there is Garab to make the catch. And the inning is over. An honored run for Rip in the top of the second inning. They do it on three hits with one error, and they leave the bases loaded. After an inning and a half, they lead Team Dinger one to nothing. Four, five, and six in the order for Team Dinger in the second. First one, Garib misses for a ball. The next one fouled off on the first base side, and they count one and one. Southwest Woodbat Classics Tournament. It's the 2016 Spring Fling Championship game. Curveball bounced in and the count two and one as the ball goes to the backstop. And a pitch at the knees, the count two and two. Pitch low, three balls and two strikes. Team Dinger looking for their first base runner. Went three up and three down in the bottom of the first. And a swing and a miss, and Garib strikes out. First out of the inning, first strikeout for Max Miller. And the batter is Michael Perez. Team Dinger trailing one nothing, batting in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch, fastball, misses outside for ball one. And the next pitch high, two balls and no strikes. And a fly ball, hit pretty well out to right field, still drifting back. 
And Mays there to make the catch. And that's out number two. Aiden Beeman going after the first pitch. Lifts a ball into shallow right field. And Mace there to make another catch. And that will end the inning. Six up and six down for Team Dinger. And after two innings of play, they trail rip one to nothing. And we we'll begin the third inning. A soft line drive off the bat of Reggie Dimitri. Caught over at first base by Burke. One pitch and one out in the rip third inning, and it'll bring up Aiden Alford. Alford with a pop out to the shortstop Beeman to start the ball game. And on the handle, and a ball in a shallow left. Going to be a long try out there, a long run and a try, and it's down for a hit as Beeman, the shortstop, laid out for it. Piazza coming in from left field, but it falls for a base hit, and Alford is aborted first with one out for Ian Halverson. Pitch high for a ball. Alverson with a base hit his first time up. Batting with one on and one out in the top of the third. His team leading one to nothing. And Alford steals second base. Had a big jump out there and uh, did not uh, even draw a throw. 2-0 and they count on Alverson. Max Miller next. Next pitch high, 3 and 0. Oh. And that pitch high and it's ball 4. Halverson walks on 4 straight. Batter is Max Miller, who was called out on strikes his first time up. But first, a uh, timeout from the Team Dinger dugout. We play in the top of the third, Rip leading Team Dinger one to nothing. And ready to get back to play. And the first pitch to Max Miller, a high for ball one. That walk for Evan Kelly, the first he's given up in the ball game. He's allowed five base hits and one unearned run. And that ball off the end of the bat, fouled out of play down the right side, and they count one and one. Another one off the end of the bat, down the right field side and out of play, and they count one and two. Back to second, big jump out there, and the ball fouled off. Now Kelly and Beeman need to get on the same page here as Beeman got in behind the runner a couple of different times, and uh, on that last pitch was nearly standing on the bag at second when the ball was delivered. One and two on Miller. Diego Holguin next for Rip. 
There's the throw back to second and the runner back. And a turn back and they got the runner hung up. And uh, another errant throw during the rundown, and both runners are safe. Hey, you got to do a job now, Max. Kelly got a good read there, seeing that uh, Alfred was moving around out at second base, hung the leg up there like you see a left-hander do with a runner over at first. And then he was able to step down and uh, throw over Got the runner in the rundown, but again, an Aaron throw allows Alfred to get to third base, and Halverson moves in to second. Infield comes in now for Team Digger with two in scoring position and one out. And a fly ball hit to well out to right field. will send Malloy back, and he can't get it. The ball continued to drift, and it's off his glove. Halford scores. Halverson going to be waved around. And in at third base, a two-run triple for Max Miller. And Rip scores a couple in the top of the third inning. They go up three to nothing. Tim Dinger with a left-hander throwing in the bullpen. Infield stays in. Diego Holguin at the plate. He takes strike one. The one strike pitch. Ball hit uh, into a foul territory on the right side, and that falls for a foul ball, and it's 0 2. Holgan with a fly ball to right field to end the first inning. And a ground ball. Runner's going to try for the plate. Here comes the throw. And the plate blocked, and the tag applied, and Miller is out at the plate. So it pays off there to have the infield in. Beeman throws out Miller for the second out. Hulk went aboard at first on the fielder's choice. And the batter is Bo Berkelow. the first one on the way, and that's over the outside corner to Berkelo, strike one. Bo with a base hit his first time up. And Tomahawk set ball into left field for a base hit. Beyonce gets it back in. So Berkelow with a base hit, Holguin to second, and the batter is Jack Mays. Reggie Dimitri will run as the courtesy runner for Berkelow over at first. First pitch outside and low, ball one. Mays reached on a fielder's choice and scored in the second. Rip has added two more in the top of the third. They lead 3 nothing. And a foul ball. Ball gets out of play and they count one and one. 
And a pop up right near the plate. And it is Kelly that makes the catch, and that will end the inning. Rip adds two more in the top of the third. After two and a half, they lead three to nothing. Blake Burke, the leadoff hitter for Team Dinger in the bottom of the third. And a half swing and a called strike. Well, not a, a called strike, but a, a strike called because of the swing. Line drive, and that's right at Hunt, the shortstop who makes the catch, and the leadoff hitter retired in the Team Dinger third inning. With one out, the batter is Aiden Brady. Miller into the wind, and the first pitch he is low for ball one. The wind in the 1-0. And that's into shallow center field. And that will go as a base hit. Lead off and make it a one-out single for Brady. And it brings up Jack Stecker. First one to Stecker low for a ball. Now swing and a miss, and it's one and one. Set for Miller, he'll turn and throw it to first and the runner back. Brady's base hit, uh, first hit for Tim Dinger, first base runner they have had. After Miller retired, the first seven he faced. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Next pitch high and outside, two balls and two strikes. And Miller steps off. Team Dinger at the plate, batting in the bottom of the third inning, trailing three to nothing. Uh, down the uh, third base side into foul territory and out of the reach of the rip third baseman. Another throw to first. Runner goes back standing. Pitch inside for a ball to Evan Kelly, uh, to uh, Stecker, I beg your pardon. The count runs full. And a call, third strike. Miller near the outside corner, and Stecker is punched out. That's out number two. And now the batter is Evan Kelly. Ball to Kelly, high for ball one. Ah! 
And the runner goes. The pitch over for a strike. Throw to second base and not able to hang on to the ball. The second baseman, Halverson, and it's a steal for Brady. Misses outside. Miller with the set as he looks back to second base. And the pitch up and in. And it's three balls and a strike. Runner at second and two outs in the bottom of the third. Team Dinger down 3-0. Now Miller turns back to second, but no play. And now the 3-1. And that's hit into right field, a fair ball. That'll be down for a hit. Runner will be waved around as the throw will go to second base. And the relay throw is not in time. It's an RBI double for Evan Kelly. And Team Dinger on the board in the bottom of the third inning. They trail three to one. Now Kelly will come off for a courtesy runner. Jack Stecker, the last batted out, will take over at second base. Jack Milstein to the plate for the first time for Team Dinger. First one outside for ball one. And next one low and outside, two and oh. Runner at second base and two outs are run in for Team Dinger in the bottom of the third. And a pitch over for a strike and it's two and one. for a strike, two and two the count. And a big curveball misses low and away, three and two. Milstein trying to reach to get back to the top of the Team Dinger order here in the third. And a ball foul to the backstop. And the 3 2, and a swing and a miss. Pitch maybe up out of the strike zone. A couple of strikeouts in the inning for Miller, but Team Dinger is on the board. They get a run on two hits. They leave one, and after three, they trail 3 to 1. Carter Hunt, the leadoff hitter for Rip in the top of the fourth inning, and he takes low and away for ball one from New. Team Dinger pitcher Michael Perez. Perez gets the next pitch over for a strike in the count one and one. Evan Kelly, the Team Dinger starter, goes three innings, allows seven hits, three runs, two earned, walked one and struck out one. And a ball rolled slowly over to the left side, picked up and thrown on to first base in time. Melstein throws out Hunt at first base. And the elite off man retired in the rip fourth inning. Now 
Augie Schaller takes outside ball one. Augie fouled out to the catcher Stredney back in the second inning. And a slow roller over on the first base side. Picked up there and uh, tap the bag at first for Burke. Three and assisted put out is out number two. And it'll bring up Sebastian Marrero. Swing and a miss, strike one. And the wind of the one strike pitch bounced in, and it's a ball and a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Top of the fourth inning, it's the championship game of the 2016 Spring Fling. Ball uh, picked up over on the left side. Milstein throws on to first base. And Perez comes in and gets a three up, three down inning after three and a half, still three to one rip. Top of the order for Team Digger in the bottom of the fourth. Michael Piazza takes ball one from Max Miller. And hits that one out to right field. That's going to get over the head of the right fielder, Mays. It'll be extra bases. Piazza around second. And on his way to third base. And it's a leadoff triple for Team Dinger in the bottom of the fourth. Matthew Malloy, who had a fly ball to left field his first time up. And a swing and a miss, strike one. Corners up for a rip. Nice pitch. Malloy lays off a pitch that misses for ball one. One and one to count. Runner at third and nobody out in the bottom of the fourth. Team Dinger trailing three to one. And the next one low, two balls and a strike. Pitch inside, that hits Malloy. And that puts the tying run aboard for Team Dinger in the fourth with nobody out. The batter will be Nick Stredney. And first, a timeout from the rip dugout. Runner from first takes off and no throw as the pitch to Stredney is inside for a ball. Now the tying runs in scoring position after the stolen base for Malloy. Up and in, two balls and no strikes. Miller ready with a 2 0. Bounced in. Three balls and no strikes. Pitch on the way. Oh, swing in 3-0. And, oh. and Stredney swings through it. Count goes to 3-1. and one. And 
And that pitch over the outside corner, a strike three and two. So Miller trying to come all the way back after getting down on the count three and oh. Swinging strike on three and oh, then a called strike on three and one to run it to three two. And a ball uh, hit down the left field line and a deep but foul. Three two, and a ground ball into the hole. It's short. Got to throw it across to first base. Not able to pick it out. One run was in, and the tying run scores. And Tim Dinger plates two. He goes to go as an infield single and an RBI for Stredney as Piazza scores, and then the throw over. Diego Holguin, the new first baseman, not able to hang on to the throw. And that brings Malloy around. So two in for Team Dinger. They've tied it at three, and Cole Garib at the plate. And the first one spiked in there, ball one. And that breaking ball going to get past the catcher, Brunkolo, and the runner goes to second base on a wild pitch. for a strike. Two and one on Cole Garib, who struck out back in the second inning. Runner at second, nobody out. Two runs in to tie it at three, and that ball foul to the backstop, and it's two and two. Next one on the way, and uh, again, up out of the strike zone, but Garib with a swing and a miss, and he is out number one. Batter's Michael Perez. First pitch high for a ball. Perez with a fly ball to Mays in right field, his first time up. They'll look back to second in the pitch. That's high, two balls and no strikes. Couple of runs in the inning for Team Dinger in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch over for a strike and it's two and one. Michael Piazza led it off with a triple. Pitch over for a strike and it's two and two. Rip with a run in the second and two in the third. Team Dinger with a run in the bottom of the third and now two in the bottom of the fourth. And the 2-2. And a swing and a miss. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Miller. Trying to prevent any further damage in the bottom of the fourth inning. He'll go after Aiden Beeman.
And a curveball bounced in there. I got a big jump out at second, did uh, Stredney. And it's actually a Jack Milstein running for Stredney at second base, and now third. As Beeman took ball one, the ball uh, went to, to the backstop nearly anyway. The 1 0 pitch. Misses, and it's 2 0. Fastball misses outside, 3 0. And now a beaming aboard at first base and timeout from the rip dugout playing in the bottom of the fourth tied at three. Now first and third as the runner from first takes off. And the throw off the glove of the pitcher Miller to the plate it comes. And the ball gets away safe at the plate and Team Dinger leads four to three. So Beeman took off for second base. Rip had a play on trying to get it just to back to the pitcher Miller. It goes off of his glove and that allows Milstein who was running for Stretney to score. Beeman gets around to third base. And the next one to Burke misses for a ball. Fastball high. Three run bottom of the fourth inning for Team Dinger. They lead 4-3. And that pitch is low. And another timeout called. Pitching change with a 3-1 count. And now a swing and a miss, and it's 3-2. and two. And a ground ball back, knocked down. The play goes to first base. And it is in time, and Burke grounds out to end the inning. Three across for Team Dinger in the bottom of the fourth. They lead 4-3. First pitch popped up and put away in the top of the fifth inning. Cooper Dulich pops out to Kelly. Now one away. First pitch over for a strike to Rothermel. And that ball through and into a center field. for Reggie Dimitri. Step and a throw over to first and then gets away.
Demetrio with a line out to Burke at first base, his first time up. Misses high and outside for ball one. Rip batting in the top of the fifth inning, trailing four to three. The 1 0 pitch fouled out of play. First base on, and they count one and one. Dirt, two balls in his strike. The ball bounces in, and that's going to get the runner around third base. He thought about going, but uh, heads back to third base. As it is, a wild pitch puts the tying run at third base. The pitch is strike and it's three and two. Field in for Team Dinger. And the ball foul to the backstop. And the 3 2 popped up into uh, shallow right. Caught, uh, in fact, by the uh, center fielder. And that's out number two. Now Aiden Alford. Alford one for two at a base hit and scored his last time up. Next pitch is high. Ball off the end of the bat and high off the backstop and they count one and two. Fouled off as this goes back to the screen. And a ball down in the dirt after the swing and the miss, and the throw to first base is in time. Alford strikes out and he is the final out in the fifth rip turned away after four and a half they trail four to three Aiden Brady takes ball one and a fly ball hit pretty well out to left field but uh, fighting it all the way to the ground there, the catch made for out number one. Cooper Dulwich with the catch. Now Jack Stecker with a ground ball over on the first base side and a foul ball. Out, out. 
ball fouled out of play on the third base side and the count 0-2. And a ground ball over on the right side, fielded there. And the throw behind the pitcher. And out to second base it goes. Dimitri, the first baseman, went over to field. Rothermel over to try to cover and uh, throw behind him. So an E3, a two base throwing error, puts uh, another runner into scoring position. And the batter is Evan Kelly. Team Dinger leads 4 3, hitting in the bottom of the fifth. Slow ground ball, Miller on to first base in time. Two away for Jack Melstein. Swing and a foul tip, strike one. Two outs and a runner at third base. Check over to third and the pitch off the end of the bat. Foul to the backstop. That is a called third strike, and that ends the inning. A one-out error. Runner left at third base through five. Team Dinger leads Rip four to three. Two, three, and four in the order for Rip in the top of the sixth inning as Ian Halverson takes strike one. Next pitch over but low, and they count one and one. Halverson with a base hit in the first, and a walk and a run scored in the third. Next pitch low, two balls and a strike. Michael Perez has faced seven hitters and retired six of those. Gave up a one out base hit his last inning. And there's a grounder back up the middle. Fielded behind the bag, and the throw to first, not in time, and uh, gets away, but Halverson will stay put. That uh, probably goes as an infield single. Perez got a piece of it, and then Kelly behind the bag couldn't get enough on the throw. So tying run aboard for Rimp in the top of the sixth inning, the batter Max Miller. Miller hit a two-run triple his last time up. And now he could do some damage here in the sixth inning again with the tying runner board. The first one on the way. And a bonk is called, and that's going to move the runner to second base. So Halverson goes to second. And now the tying run in scoring position. Now the pitch over for a strike to Miller. And a ground ball over to third, and that uh, goes past the third baseman and into left field, and that'll put runners at the corners. First and third, and nobody out. Diego Holguin will bat for Rip. 
tying run at third and the go ahead run at first base as we play in the top of the sixth in the championship game in the 2016 Spring Fling. First pitch bounced in, ball one. All went 0 for 2. Fly ball to right in the first inning and a fielder's choice in the third. And a swing and a miss on a pitch from Perez and they count 1 and 1. Perez with a set, runner takes off and no throw. So Miller steals second base as the count goes to two and one. Infield in and a grounder foul outside of third base. Two balls, two strikes. Holguin batting with the drawn in infield. And a mighty swing and a miss there. Holguin strikes out as Perez gets the first out on the top of the sixth inning. And the batter is Bo Berkala. And a ground ball back to third. They got the runner off the bag and now a rundown. And they're going to call the runner out. Uh, I don't know if it was on the tag or out of the baseline, but Brady there to apply the tag. Halverson is out. And that is uh, out number two. Miller gets to third base, and Berkelow hustles to get uh, out to second. So second and third, now two outs in the inning. And uh, time called as Berkelow will come off. Halverson will run at second base. And an excuse me swing and a ground ball foul on the first base side. That's strike one off the bat of Jack Mays. Two on, two out. Tying run still at third base for Rip. The go-ahead run at second. And the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through it into center field. And that will tie the ball game. An RBI base hit for Jack Mace. And it's 4-4. Four to four. Just a well-placed ground ball hit back up the middle. Not uh, particularly hard hit, but it was hard enough to get past the pitcher Perez. And it got through and into center field. So uh, Rip scores a run in the top of the sixth inning to even it up. It's a 4-4 ball game, and now they go ahead and run 90 feet away. The batter is Carter Hunt. And Hunt in and ready to go as Perez, the left-hander, has been at the waist, now sets. And the pitch on the way. And it's fouled off on the first base side, and that's strike one. And runner goes, and the ball fouled out of play on the right side. And it's nothing in two. Hunt with a base hit in the second, a ground out in the fourth.
Trying to push that runner in from third base. That runner goes, ball popped up first base side. And that's caught by Burke and that will end the inning. But uh, Rip gets even here in the top of the sixth inning. They get a run on three hits, they leave two. After five and a half, we're tied at four. Top of the order in the bottom of the sixth inning, Michael Piazza with a ground ball, mishandled over there at third base, and the tie-breaking run is aboard at first. Perez aboard, a Piazza rather aboard on an E5, and now the batter is Matthew Malloy. Ball uh, bunted, or at least shortened a bunt there was Malloy, but he pulled it back, and it's ball one. The field has uh, continued to move around now as Marrero's back at third base. Halverson, the second baseman again. And a ball bunted back to the backstop. And uh, just called a batter out. I guess he must have been out of the box when he bunted that ball. And so that'll be the first out in the inning and a big out to be recorded there for Rip. And now Tim Dinger will send up Nick Stredney. One on one out in the bottom of the sixth inning, tied at four. It's the championship game of the 2016 Spring Fling. Redney in there, had an infield base hit his last time up. And he'll take a pitch over the outside corner for strike one. One on, one out, bottom of the sixth. The set. And the one strike pitch. And Stredney lays off, pitches high, and they count one and one. Runner goes, and the ball hit uh, out to center field. Playable out there, and the catch made. And that is out number two. It's about uh, maybe the deepest fly ball we've seen today. That one hit well. That was Jack Mays in center field with a catch. Again, it's uh, free as far as the substitutions go, especially defensively. Players can come in and out with all the extra hitters. And there's a line drive just over the head of the shortstop Hunt. Runner will come around to third base and stop there. And that puts runners at the corners with two outs. So Cole Garib with a solid base hit. Fiance goes from first to third. Now they go ahead and run 90 feet away but it'll take something with two outs for Michael Perez. Now Halverson in to talk to Rothermel. Runner goes, pitch a strike, and the throw back to Rothermel, no play. So Perez down a strike, but now two in scoring position, and a chance to change the score here. Yeah, swing and a miss, bottom dropped out there, and they count nothing in two. Aiden Beeman next for Team Dinger. 4-4, score in the bottom of the sixth. 
And the pitch inside just about got him. And it's one and two. Now Ruddy with a one-two pitch. And that's over a called third strike. And Perez is the final out of the bottom of the sixth inning for Team Dinger. No runs on a hit, an error, and two left. We go to the seventh, tied at four. Yeah, first pitch, fly ball into right field to start the seventh inning. Augie Schaller, one pitch and one out. As Malloy makes the catch. And the batter is Sebastian Merrell. 4-4 four, four ball game in the top of the seventh. It's the Spring Fling Championship game. And the first pitch is outside, ball one. Perez has gone three and a third innings, allowed three hits and one run. The next one is low, and it's 2-0. and oh. Make that four hits. Into the one and the 2-0. -oh. And a line drive over the head of the third base from Milstein and into left field. Go ahead, run aboard at first for Rip in the... Top of the seventh. And the batter will be Cooper Dulich. Dulich with an RBI single, his first time up, then popped out his last time, one for two on the day. Stredney out to talk to Perez. Ground ball, out to short. Got to hurry to get the out at second, and then that throw gets away. Ah, they weren't backing up the throw over there at first base, and that'll allow the runner to get to second. So Mariel, 4-6-4 four, four on the force out. Dulich reaches on a fielder's choice and goes to second on an E4. As that throw sailed over toward first base. So now two outs in the inning, but the tie-breaking run in scoring position at second, and the batter Colin Rothermel. And Rothermel with a swing and a miss, strike one. We'll look ahead to the uh, Team Dinger, seventh inning. They'll send up six, seven, and eight in the order. And a slow ground ball fielded and a throw on to first base is in time. And a 1-3 ground out retires Rothermel and Rip in the top of the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh, tied at four. Aiden Beeman, the leadoff hitter in the bottom of the seventh. And a swing and a foul tip for a strike. One misses, and they count one and one. Beeman, Burke, and Brady to bat for Team Dinger in the bottom of the seventh. Good spot there, called a ball, two and one. And the two one pitch. That's high, ball three, three and one. And a fly ball into right field. And that's hauled in. 
Shiler with the catch and the leadoff hitter retired in the bottom of the seventh. Brings up Blake Burke. First pitch from Rothermel over the outside corner of strike. Brooke 0 for 2. And lifts one into center field. And that's caught for out number two. And now if Team Dinger fails to score, we'll move to the eighth inning. And looking to the eighth, then it'll be 12, 1, and 2 in the order for rip. Aiden Brady will try to extend the inning. Swing and a miss, strike one. Two out spaces empty, bottom of the seventh, tied at four. And a pitch over for a strike, and it's 0-2. Back to the one and the two-strike pitch. Over for a called third strike. And Rothermel has a 1-2-3 seventh inning. We'll go extras for the second Sunday in a row in the uh, Spring Fling Championship. This time, we're tied at four. So we go to extra innings. And uh, like we saw last Sunday, the bases become loaded with one out. Reggie Dimitri at the uh, plate and a swing and a miss for strike one. Ball to the backstop. We'll get a run in. That'll break the tie to make it 5-4. So wild pitch puts one in. The uh, count goes to a ball and a strike on Dimitri. Now second and third. And again, it starts with one out. So we've got to one out in the inning. And that ball punched into right field for a base hit. One run will score. They'll hold the second runner. And it's 6-4. to four. RBI hit for Dimitri. He's aboard at first base. First and third with one out. Two runs in to make it six to four, and the batter is Aiden Alford. <laughs> and a fly ball into shallow left. Catch made, runner holds at third base. That's out number two, so Alford flies out. Two away for Halverson, who has a couple of base hits plus a walk on base all three times for Rip. Now, Team Dinger will have the same situation in the bottom of the eighth. They'll come out uh, with the bases loaded and one out, and Jack Stecker will bat first. First pitch misses for ball one to Ian Halverson. Two aboard with two outs, two runs in for Rip in the top of the eighth. They lead 6-4. And a fly ball into left field on the run the catch made, and that will end the top of the eighth inning. Rip gets a couple of runs. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Team Dinger trails 6-4. So underway and a ground ball off the third baseman into shallow left field. Runner's going to be held at the last second. One run is in for Team Dinger. 
as Stecker put the ball in play hard, not able to pick it up over there at third base. And the base is loaded, a run in as Team Dinger trails six to five. And the batter is Kelly. And Evan fouls the first one back and out of play. Bases loaded with one out, a run in. And a ground ball, gonna go home for one. On to first base, not able to hang on to it. One run will score to tie the game. And uh, Team Dinger stays alive. Ball dropped over there at first base on what uh, would have been a game ending double play. Instead, a force at the plate is the second out. And the bases stay loaded for Jack Milstein. Six. Five, our score, two outs in the bottom of the eighth. And the first pitch over for strike one. Rip with two runs in the top of the eighth inning. Team Dinger has scored one here in the bottom of the eighth. The pitch outside and it's one and one. On the set of the 1-1 pitch. That's high. Two balls in his strength. Rother Mel trying to finish it up here for a rip in the bottom of the eighth. The 2-1 pitch. That's over the outside corner of strike, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Bases loaded for Team Dinger in the bottom of the eighth. And a ground ball over to first. Miller picks it up, and he'll tap the bag at first, and that will do it. A three unassisted retires Milstein, and that ends the ball game. Team Dinger responds with one in the bottom of the eighth, but they fall for the second Sunday in a row in extra innings, a one-run loss. This time it is Rip that beats Team Dinger by a score of six to five, and that will do it then as uh, Rip with the uh, 2016 Spring Fling Champions for Southwest Woodbat Classics, and that uh, will wrap it up for us. Again, our final, it's Rip six and Tim Dinger five from Papago Park in Phoenix. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network saying so long, and we hope to talk to you again soon.